This is a review on how to adjust your texture uh, that you may have applied to a planar surface. In this case, it is our table. And two things are wrong with this. The pattern is going in the wrong direction, and it is not tight enough to make it seem believable. So I'm going to select my table, and then I'm going to go up and grab my hypershade. And in my hypershade, I'm going to select the node with the texture on it. I'll just open this window up a little bit more so it's clearer how you would go about this. So here's my table node right here. I'm going to click on it. And if I head off on the keyboard, it gets a little bit closer. Like our objects, if there's more than one object in the viewport, uh, it doesn't zero on just on that one, but it does get it closer. Now, right down here, you might have a mess in your work area, as I do. I'm going to right-click on my table wood node and in the library, and I'm going to click on Graph Network, and it limits it just to the uh, attributes of that texture. Now, in order to adjust the direction and the scale of that texture as it sits on my table here, I'm going to click on the very last icon on the left. You'll see it's kind of a purple, and it says Placed 2D Texture. When I click on it, over on the right, right below that representational graphic of our node, you'll see that it's changed uh, the attribute window. And now if I go down to the bottom half of this, you'll see repeat UVs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat it. And this is something you can adjust until uh, you get what you want. I'm going to make it three for now. And here's why I'm going to rotate my UV map 90 degrees. Now when I close out my editor, there's my table and the texture is oriented properly on that. Now don't worry about the legs if you see something like this. Um, I would say we'll get into that a little bit later on the semester when we have a little bit more control over the texture mapping. This is just the basic intro. 